Hello, Sairam students. Okay, now you all must have received your timetable for FA4 exam. Yes? Okay, now for Max, for FA4 exam, you will be having chapter 4 and chapter 12. Okay, so we have already finished with chapter 4 and 12. So today we will be revising chapter 4 and solving some important sums. Okay. Now, in chapter 4, students, we have already learned about what is the fractions, what are fractions, equivalent fractions. We have done with like, unlike, proper, improper, unit and mixed fractions. We have studied how to convert mixed into improper fraction and how to convert improper into mixed fraction. Yes, we have also done with comparison of unlike fractions, ordering of unlike fractions, addition and subtraction. And also about the properties of fractions. Then how to simplify two or more fractions together. And based on this, we have also learned how to solve word problems on fractions. So now quickly let us take a, do a recap of all these topics. Okay. Now students, what is a fraction? A fraction is a part of a whole where the numerator is the top number that tells you how many parts there are and the denominator is the bottom number that tells you how many parts make a whole. You can just have a look at this figure. In this figure, first figure, the whole part is colored. So it is written as one. In the second one, the whole part is divided into two equal parts. So the fraction goes as one upon two. In the third figure, the whole part is divided into four equal parts. So the denominator four tells us that the four parts make a whole and out of the four equal parts one part is colored now in the fourth figure out of four equal parts three parts are colored so we'll write the fraction has three upon four where the numerator is three and the denominator is four now what are equivalent fractions equivalent fractions are those fractions which have the same value or represent the same part of a whole now here you can see 1 upon 2, 2 upon 4 and 4 upon 8. Now 2 upon 4, if I reduce it to the lowest term, that will be 2 1s are 2 and 2 2s are 4, which is again half. Same way 4 upon 8, if I reduce it, that will become 4 1s are 4 and 4 2s are 8, which again is a half. So you can say that one of 2 upon 4 and 4 upon 8 are equivalent fractions that is they have the same value or represent the same part of a whole now what are like fractions like fractions are those that have the fractions that have the same denominator the numerators will be different whereas unlike fractions are those fractions that have the denominators different as well as the numerators also will be different even if the numerators are same the denominators will be different Proper and improper fractions, fractions in which the numerator is less than the denominator are called as proper fractions and fractions in which the numerator is greater than the denominator are called as improper fractions. You can see the example here, proper fractions 3 upon 5, 2 upon 7 and 1 upon 4 where the numerator is less than the denominator. Whereas an improper fraction 6 upon 5, 8 upon 7 and 5 upon 4. Here the numerator is greater than the denominator. Now what are unit fractions? Fractions in which the numerator is 1 are called as unit fractions. And mixed fractions are those, those fractions made up, of a, made up of a whole number and a proper fraction. For example, 2 whole, 1 upon 3, 4 whole, 3 upon 5 and 9 whole, 1 upon Now about the conversion of mixed fraction to an improper fraction, we have the formula that is to convert mixed fraction to an improper fraction, whole number you will multiply it by the denominator plus the numerator upon the denominator. Now suppose if you have the mis mixed fraction has 2, 3 upon 5, so whole number into denominator that will be 5 into 2 plus the numerator 3, so that will be sorry that is equal to 5 to the 10 plus 3 that is 13 upon 5 that is the denominator okay same way to convert 
improper fraction to mixed fraction. Now, improper fraction is suppose if I take the number as 13 upon 5, where the numerator is greater than the denominator. So, 13 I will divide it by 5, that will be 5, 2 is 10, 13 minus 10 is 3 upon 5. So, to convert an improper fraction to a mixed fraction, that is quotient, you will get 2, remainder is 3 upon the divisor, that is 5. Okay. Now, we have learned how to compare two fractions. Now, for comparison of fractions, we have done it with two methods. One is the LCM method and the other one is the cross multiplication method. Now, cross multiplication is very easy where you cross multiply the numerator of one fraction with the denominator of the second fraction. Okay. So, LCM method, to compare the fractions by LCM method, the first thing is we have to find the LCM of the two fractions. And then make the denominators equal to the LCM and then compare the numerators. Okay. First, we have to find the LCM. Suppose if you have the fraction has 2 upon 3 and 5 upon 6. So, first we will find the LCM of 3 and 6 and then make the denominators same or equal to the LCM. If whatever LCM we get and then compare the numerators. Okay. So, here the LCM that is of 3 and 6 will be 6. Okay. Now, two points what which you have to remember is to add or subtract like fractions. Now, what are like fractions? Are those fractions where the denominator is same. So, we, uh, we simply add or subtract the numerators and then write the denominator below the sum. Whereas to add or subtract to unlike fractions where the denominator will be different, first we have to convert them to like fractions and then add or subtract them. Convert them to like fractions how? By taking out the LCM. Okay. Okay. Now let us solve some sums, important sums. Now here you have to solve and take the correct answer. Now, here both the fractions are mixed fractions. So, first what will you do is you will convert it into improper fractions. So, that will be 5 4 are is 20. 20 plus 3 is 23 upon 5. Okay. You have to add it. Okay. Now, the second fraction is 3 2 upon 7. So, again you will first change it into improper fraction that will be 7 3s are 21 plus 2 that is 23 upon 7. Okay. Now, here the denominators are different that is your denominator is 5 and 7. So, what you will do is you will find the LCM of 5 and 7. When we find the LCM of 5 and 7, that will be 5. Is a, both are prime numbers. So, your LCM will be 35. Now, 5 will make the denominator same. Okay. So, we will take the first fraction. 5 multiplied by what will give you 35? 7. So, 23 also you will multiply it by 7. Okay. So, that will be 161 upon 30. Five. Now, same way in the second fraction, 23 upon 7, 7 multiplied by 5 will be 35. So, you will multiply the numerator also with 5. So, that will be 23 into 5. That will be 115 upon 35. One hundred and fifteen upon thirty. Now, what next? The denominators are same. Okay. So, what will it, when the denominators are same, you can just add the numerators. So, 161 plus 115 will give you 276 upon 35. Now, 276 upon 35 is an improper fraction. So, you will divide it and change it into mixed fraction. Now, when you divide it, you will get 
7 has the quotient and 31 as the remainder and your divisor will be 35. So your answer will be 7 whole 31 upon 35. Okay. In the exam, if you are getting this kind of sums, you have to solve it and then tick the correct answer. Okay. So now, so here 7 whole 31 upon 35 is your correct answer. So you will just tick this answer. Whereas in your uh, this thing, you will just click it. Okay, now let us take the second sum here. 2 whole 7 upon 9, you have to subtract from 3 whole 2 upon 5. Now here also both are mixed numbers. So first you will convert it into improper. So from 3 whole 2 upon 5, you have to subtract 2 whole 7 upon 9. So first convert this 5 3 is 15 plus 2 that is 17 upon 5 minus 9 2 18 18 plus 7 that is 25 upon 9. Now both the denominators are different. So you will take the LCM of 5 and 9. So the LCM of 5 and 9 is 45. Now change both the fractions to like fractions by making the denominator 45. Now 5 multiplied by 9 is 45. Same way 17 also you will multiply it by 9. So that will be 153 upon 45. Now taking coming to the second fraction 9 multiplied by 5 will give you 45. Correct. Same way the numerator also you will multiply it by 5. So that will become 125 upon 45 now both the denominators are same now you can subtract it now 153 minus 125 upon 45 so that will give you that is 28 upon 45 okay so you have to solve in your book and then select the correct answer so here your answer will be 28 upon 45. Coming to the third sum, simplify 12 upon 17 minus 8 upon 17 plus 7 upon 17. So here the denominators are same. So no need to take out the LCM. You can just carry out the, you can just simplify the fractions. So 12 minus 4, uh, sorry, 12 minus 8 is 4 and 4 plus 7 is 11 upon 17. So your answer is 11 upon 17. Same way either you can do is 12 upon 17 plus 7 upon 17 and then subtract it or you can subtract it and then add it. You will get the same answer. Coming to the next sum, arrange the following fractions in ascending and descending order. Now here the numerators are same. Okay. Now to arrange the numbers in ascending order, you will have to compare the denominators here. Why? Because the numerators are same. Now when the denominators are different, the larger the denominator, smaller will be your fraction. So here, which is the fraction with the larger denominator? That is 9. So you can say that 9 is greater than 8, is greater than 6, 6 is greater than 5, 5 is greater than 4, is greater than 2. So you can say that, that means 12 upon 9, when you are arranging it in a descent ascending order, that means 12 upon 9 is your smaller fraction. Why? Because the denominator is big. So you can say that 12 upon 9, okay, and then which next one? That is 12 upon 8, this one is smaller 12 upon 8 is smaller than 12 upon 6 then 5 that is 12 upon 6 is smaller than 12 upon 5 and then 12 upon 5 is smaller than 12 upon 4 and 12 upon 4 is smaller than 12 upon 2 okay so one thing you have to keep it in mind is larger the denominator smaller will be the fraction okay and smaller the denominator larger will be the fraction and same thing if you are arranging it in descending order vice versa now 
2 is the smaller denominator so that fraction will be greater why because when you are arranging the fraction in descending order you will go from big fraction to small fraction so 12 upon 2 will come first and then 12 upon 4 12 upon 5 and then 12 upon 6 12 upon 8 and 12 upon 9 when you are arranging it in descending order this is how I have arranged it in ascending order. Your descending order will be vice versa. Okay. But the only thing point we have to keep it in mind is larger the denominator, smaller will be the fraction. So ascending order, the num fraction with the larger denominator will come first. Why? Because that fraction will be smaller. Okay. Yes. Now here arrange in ascending order. Now here children the numerator is also different and the denominator is also different in that case what will you do is you have to that is make all the fractions like fractions to make all the fractions like fractions what will you do is you will take the lcm you'll take the lcm of 3 5 9 12 and 20 now when you take the lcm of 3 5 9 12 and 20 this is how I have shown you. We have already done how to take the LCM. 3 1s are 3. 5 you will keep as it is. 3 3s are 9. 3 4s are 12. And 20 is not divisible by 3. So 20 will remain as it is. Same way take the all the prime numbers and then take the LCM. Now when you find the LCM, your LCM will be that is 3 into 3 into 5 into 2 into 2. Two. So, 3 3 is a 9, 9 5 is a 45, 45 into 2 is 90 and 90 into 2 is 180. So, your LCM is 180. Now, what is the next step you have to do? You have to change all the fractions to like fractions by making the denominator 180. So, how we do that? Yes, we will take the first fraction. Now, 5 into 36 is 180. So, again, you will multiply the numerator also by 36. That will become 216 upon 180. Same way, all the fractions, you will make the denominator 180, which is your LCM. Now, 3 into 60 is 180. Numerator also, you will multiply it by 60, which becomes 120 upon 180. Same way with the third fraction. 9 into 20, 180. So, 20 you will multiply it with the numerator also. So, 4 into 20 is 80. Same way with the 4th and the 5th fraction. Okay. Then afterwards, now you have to write it in ascending order. Now, ascending order means bigger number to smaller number. Yes. Ascending means, sorry, ascending means smaller number to bigger number. So, which is smaller here now has the denominators are same, which is smaller 80 is smaller and what is the fraction of 80 that is 4 upon 9 we'll just see here in the next slide 80 upon 180 is smaller than 99 upon 180 which is smaller than 105 upon 180 then comes 120 and then 216 so while writing it in ascending order you write from smaller number to bigger number here the denominators are same so you'll go from smaller number to we'll just compare the numerators Smaller numerator to bigger numerator. So, 80 upon 180, what is the fraction? 4 upon 9. For 99 upon 180, what was the fraction? 11 upon 20. Same way, 105 upon 180, the fraction was 7 upon 12. Then comes 2 upon 3 and then 6 upon 5. So, this is how we have arranged it in ascending order. If the numerators and the denominators are different, You'll first find the LCM and change the fraction to like fractions and then compare the numerators. Okay. Okay. Now, so practice all the sums, whatever is there in the exercise. So, that's all for today. So, meet you in the next class. In the next class, we'll be revising chapter 12. So, see you again next class. Thank you.